Don't be stuck on these types of questions where you've got variables on the both sides. What you do is just make these two variable terms to be on the one side and make these constants to be on the other side. Now here's the trick to these questions. You're always going to move the variable term that's the smallest to the other side. And so looking at this, minus 11x is smaller than minus 3x. And so we're going to move minus 11x to this side. And because we're going to have the variables on the right hand side, we want the numbers to be on the left hand side. And so we're going to move the 60 to this side. And so we've got the minus 4 on the left hand side. We're going to move the 60 to this side. Whenever you move a number to the other side of the equal sign or a term, you do the opposite operation. And so this is going to become minus 60. This is going to equal the right hand side. We've got minus 3x. We're going to move the minus 11x to this side. And so this is going to become plus 11x. From here you just then clean up, you've got minus 4, minus 60, this is going to be minus 64. And then the right hand side you've got minus 3x plus 11x, and so this is going to become 8x. Now you're back to a basic equation, we're going to move the 8, which is the coefficient, to the other side. And so you're going to get x is equal to minus 64 divided by 8, which is minus 8. Now if these types of questions get in your head, then get yourself this algebra book for beginners, where everything is explained like a friend would. This section is only one page long and there's a few examples that you can follow through step by step to learn exactly how to answer these types of questions.